Business presenter Joel Hills is in Athens and no doubt it is the talk of the capital. Yeah, indeed. The Parliament Beard building behind me, Jeremy, you find out in exactly four weeks' time, we should know which party, if any, has managed to form a new government. The opinion polls at the moment suggest that the results of an election, were it to be held today, would be inconclusive. However, interestingly and worryingly, if at least you're the leader of a Eurozone nation, uh, the opinion polls also suggest that one in four voters are currently uh, supporting the Syriza party, which is saying it would tear up the austerity agreements it's made uh, with the EU and the IMF, calling into question, of course, what would happen to the emergency funding Greece is dependent on. But for a view on this, let's speak to voters plucked fresh from the street. Um, three gentlemen here, can we just broadly agree, all three of you really want to see Greece remain in the euro, is that right? right now. Perfect. OK, let's start with uh, George Neris. Uh, now, uh, George, you run a production company. Austerity, you were telling me earlier, is actually, it's been good for you. It's not just austerity, it's the whole situation that's been happening. Because of austerity, there is less subsidies. In that sense, no production company is getting subsidies. We're not getting any, anyway. So now, the rest are not getting any subsidies. So it's good for us, because we're standing from the, in the same line, and everybody's trying to do... Uh, their best, but without government subsidies. So it's good for us. We're, we're having more artists, we're having more activists coming towards us, and they're being more creative in order to produce. It's more of a capitalist market. OK, so the, the economy may be in recession, but your business mm. is flourishing. Now, if the PASOK party or the main new democracy parties come to power, there'll be more tax rises, more spending mm -hmm. cuts to come. Do you see that as a necessary price mm -hmm. to sort out the economy? Well, I wouldn't be so sure because I'm not a, an economist. I believe that we have to take any measure that is necessary in order for Greece to survive. But the real thing is not more or less measures, more or less austerity. I wouldn't know about that. I know there is a lack of leadership. This lack of leadership has to do with a lack of vision. I'm sure that the Greek people are very hardworking people. If you explain to them what they have to do in order to stay in the euro and be successful, they will do it. So this is the real question, the real vision. Austerity or non-austerity, we have done it before, we can do it again. OK, you want uh, to Greece to remain in the euro. Apostolos uh, Siokos, now you have seen your... You work as uh, a, uh, a manager in a company, in the private sector. You, you said your, your take-home pay, you think, has fallen by about 15% in the 15%, last couple of years. Yeah. So austerity for you has been a, a different experience. It's a different experience, it's very difficult for my country, I don't think that austerity and all these measures, the tax rises, are the right solution. We need the growth now, we need a boost for development in my country. We have a lack of uh, leadership in my country, so we have to reform and we have to create a new country, a new Greece. OK, uh, you voted PASOK at the last general I'm a, I'm election. I'm a member of uh, Yath of this party. A member of the youth of party? Of the youth, yeah, but okay. I don't think we have a lot, make a lot of... Uh, mistakes so we have to change ourselves because uh, my country cannot uh, accept all this uh, situation especially young people would you consider voting differently at the next election i'm considered but uh, i hope that this uh, message from uh, the election have changed and our president says that we will change everything in my party so to represent uh, a new direction Okay, Apostolos, uh, thank you very much for your view. Let's speak now to uh, Sotoris Carvelis. Now, Sotoris, you are a taxi driver. Yeah. Now, your income has fallen quite significantly in the last couple of years, hasn't it? Yes. yes. What were you saying between how, how, what, what effect has it had on your take-home pay? Fewer people taking taxis. What's happened to the money you take home at the end of the month? At the end of the month, we have uh, about 30 or 40 percent down on our, not salary, we don't have salary, in our profits. We don't, because they don't, want to spend money for go outside for the theater or cinema or food or restaurant something now our prime minister david cameron uh, made it clear that the greek people as far as he were concerned either have to accept the austerity measures that are being imposed on greece or you have to leave the euro you yeah. can't have both and yet you voted for syriza a party yeah. that is proposing to to tail up the bailout agreement well, with this with with this politician uh, i I don't know if it's necessary to stay in Europe, but uh, I think with, if the, the whole politician in Europe changes, yes, I'll be a part of this Eurozone. I don't know if it's necessary for us to stay 
we're still saying uh, Euro. And your vote, Theresa, the next general yeah. election, so there is? Yeah. OK, so there you are. The sort of colleagues, thank you very much for that. There are three views from three people who voted in three different ways at the last election, but seem to be saying they'll vote in the same way at the next one. As I said, the opinion polls suggest that a vote, if it were to happen today, would prove inconclusive. But the, the trend definitely and the popular support seems to be for a party at the moment which is proposing something that may lead to Greece leaving the Eurozone.